Once upon a time, there was a little explorer. One day, the little explorer decided to embark on a journey to the planets. Being a curious child, the little explorer made a list of the planets he wanted to visit. He got himself an astronaut suit and a spaceship and set off on a long journey. The little explorer's first stop was the moon. As soon as he arrived, the moon greeted him. Welcome, little explorer. What brings you here first? asked the moon. Hello, moon. You are the closest planet to Earth. That's why I came to you first, replied the little explorer. The moon smiled. After a little chat, the little explorer bid farewell to the moon and continued on his journey. His next stop was Mercury. As soon as the little explorer set foot on Mercury, he started to sweat. Mercury was a very hot planet. Mercury greeted the little explorer and chuckled. What's this, little explorer? Seems like you're sweating. Ha ha ha. What can I do, Mercury? You are really hot. I couldn't help but wonder why, said the little explorer. Don't you know, little explorer? I am the closest planet to the sun. That's why my temperature is high, explained Mercury. The little explorer nodded. He realized he should leave before he got roasted. He said goodbye to Mercury and headed towards Venus. During his journey, he encountered many stars. He greeted each one and continued on his way. Finally, he reached Mars. As soon as the little explorer arrived on Mars, he started shivering. This is such a cold planet, he said to himself. Then he heard a voice. What's wrong? Seems like you're cold, kiddo. Visitors should dress warmly when they visit me. It was Mars speaking. As the little explorer shivered, he said, You are indeed very cold. I should leave before I freeze. Saying goodbye to Mars, the little explorer continued his journey. The next planet was Jupiter. Jupiter was a prominent planet because it was gigantic. The little explorer landed on Jupiter with excitement. But what was this? Jupiter was spinning so fast that the little explorer's head spun. He tumbled onto his backside. Jupiter burst into laughter and said, Ha 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 ha! Are you okay, little explorer? Yeah, I'm fine. You spin so fast, Jupiter, you made my head spin, replied the little explorer, laughing along. After chatting with Jupiter for a while, the little explorer continued his journey. He proceeded toward Saturn. Finally, he landed on Saturn. Saturn was a bit different from the other planets. It had a huge ring around it. The little explorer looked at the rings in amazement. Hey, what's this? Is this a skirt? he asked, looking at Saturn's rings. Saturn was surprised. A skirt? What are you talking about? Those are my rings. Suddenly, a strong wind started blowing. The little explorer's hair flew everywhere, and he could barely speak. What's with this wind? he managed to say. Don't you know, little explorer? I am a windy planet, replied Saturn. I should probably leave before I get blown away, said the little explorer, bidding farewell to Saturn. He continued on to Neptune. Finally, he reached Neptune, the last of the planets. When the little explorer landed on Neptune, he greeted it. Welcome, little explorer. You look quite tired, said Neptune. Thank you. You are very far from the sun. It wasn't easy to find you, Neptuni, replied the little explorer. Neptune smiled. After chatting with Neptune for a while, the little explorer bid farewell. He was very happy to have met the planets, but it was time to return to Earth. The little explorer had a long journey ahead of him.